have come under a lot of scrutiny, Governor mm. Ali, well, of course, with the clashes. Most recent was the dawn attack yesterday, where two people were killed. This all began in September. Many wondering, what fueled these clashes in your county? Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Victoria. I want to say that, uh, first of all, I condole with the people who lost lives up to yesterday and uh, all the others who less lost lives previously. And uh, I want to say that uh, what caused these skirmishes to flare up to this level is an incident that took place on the 5th of September at a place called Horonder. Uh, some herders had already settled there and uh, others went to settle there again on 5th. Uh, somebody decided to kill an old man who migrated there with his animals. And the following morning, of course, was an exchange of fire where three lives were lost. I was in Cliffy attending a conference organized by the Evolution Ministry for Asal counties. So I cut my trip short and, and uh, flew into Marsabit on the 7th, because on the 6th I missed a flight. Uh, we organized a meeting with the county security team, with uh, the Interfaith Council. We have a very strong Interfaith Council in Marsabit which comprises literally almost all the communities, and we have a lot of faith and respect for them. Uh, because I, uh, being the governor, and I come from, of course, a community, yeah. Borana for that matter, and this is Borana versus Gavra, I decided that this Interfaith Council to chair that meeting so that it is not seen by anybody. Uh, so we were in attendance with the county commissioner, and we had a long day deliberation between the political leaders from either side, uh, both the MCS and the MPs and even the senators, and selected elders from either side. And we reached a compromise. A resolution was made. Now, what has caused subsequent attacks is lack of seriousness on the part of the county security team. They did not implement even one of the resolution that we made that day. It was all a waste of effort. And this is why I'm saying, although some people are saying politicians, politicians, it yeah. is diversionary. The real issue is at Horonder. What happened at Horonder? We said the people who killed the old man the first day must be arrested. If they were arrested immediately, all right, we will not be here today. There was heavy artillery that was used to the extent that police could not retrieve dead body of somebody who was killed on site for two good days. The county commander himself told me these criminals have got very heavy weapons and we cannot retrieve the body. For heaven's sake, how? They admitted they can't. So you're saying the clashes that followed that initial uh, incident is because there's a laxity on the part of the security agencies to act. However, when you, when you look at that initial incident that sparked all of this, who was behind it? Because there are reports that uh, there are outside forces trying to destabilize the county business and, and what's been happening there. But who is behind that initial? I agree with you. There are out, outside forces who are... Who are working day and night to destabilize this county. People who will want to make it appear like it's ungovernable. People who will want to make us look weak. This uh, county security team, they were deployed there, I think, if I'm not wrong, sometime in February this year. It's like they have a special script they are following. Marsabit has been very progressive. We've been making very positive uh, steps towards the right direction in bringing development to our people, bringing cohesion. I found a very divided county. Uh, before the incident of Horonder, we've been living at peace. In fact, even the backyard of my competitor, 
where they used not to reach, uh, he, he, he could not access our, our, uh, he could not come to the areas which were not his stronghold. Myself, even the week before, I visited all parts of even northern con uh, constituency, perceived to be all uh, actually uh, vote-wise, totally opposed to me. That means we were giving service to everybody equally, fairly. But then people are not comfortable with this. That's why this, this team, I have now come to discover, to make us weak, what we ask for of them, for the benefit of the county, they undermine us, so that our people lose faith in us. Nothing is implemented. We tell them, arrest the killers, they don't do it. Disarm the people who have got these illegal firearms. On the contrary, they go and disarm three innocent police reservists who were victims themselves, whose kings were killed. What will this show? The other one took place on the 5th of September. This other one occurred on the 13th of October. A whole month, we agreed that people must be settled together, both communities, right. so that there will be no tension. And we said the security team must give security and ensure that that is done. They did not. So it is a fallacy when I hear uh, on, on papers, on other media, that politicians behind poli It's a very easy statement to be made by anybody. And of course, this was being made by Interior CS, uh, Dr. Fred Matiangi. Yes. Yes. But let's quickly take a look at what was said by some of the Marsabit leaders, including yourself, uh, on this matter yesterday. It's important that we get to the root of this problem. It's very, very important that any outstanding issues between, this, between these two communities must be sorted out once and for all. Because this is not the beginning. Uh, it has been there for a long time. And we really hope uh, we'll have a chance to really sort out all these issues. We have to move forward. These incidences have already uh, made us go back. It's very unfortunate. That security team must go. It must go. We must be brought security team that will be impartial. We have information that there is funding, there is uh, support, there is incitement to violence uh, by politicians uh, in this conflict. And uh, that's why we have uh, summoned uh, uh, the two members of parliament and also the governor here to shed light on this, what is going on, and also to start our investigation. So that was from yesterday, uh, the governor and two members of parliament from uh, Marsabit County. All three of you distance yourselves from uh, a lot of the clashes that happened. But surely, as much as you're saying that the provincial administration, security agencies have not done much, you're also local leaders, and you also have a bearing on how things go in the county. What have you been doing to ensure that uh, there is unity? Of course, there was the, the BOMA agreement that was agreed upon in 2014, which is what C.S. Matiangi said we need to go back to, to restore peace. As local leaders, are you ensuring that that BOMA agreement is being adhered to? Uh, thank you, Victoria. First of all, BOMA agreement was a, as a result of a problem that we encountered in 2014. It was specific to that period because there was impunity going on. Yeah. There were people who were maimed, lives lost, houses burnt, people displaced, 6,000 refugees in Ethiopia. This matter was not reported until it came to the attention of His Excellency the President, who then, the then PS, uh, Muche, was ordered to immediately handle the situation, remove the security team then, and that is how we restored. His Excellency the President appointed uh, two prominent leaders, Yusuf Haji and uh, Kaparo, Honorable Kaparo, and they steered the process very well. Mm -hmm. In fact, what I was discussing with Matiangi, uh, CS Matiangi, and I'm very grateful to him, he gave me an opportunity on Sunday following that incident. When on 13th I heard of the incident, because I don't have faith on what those guys have been doing, uh, I went and uh, got an appointment with him and discussed with him. 
that he needs to solve for us that problem. We need to be discussing on the ground. But when the people who are in charge of the security docket do opposite of what you agree, what do you discuss? That is why, with respect, I went to Matiangi himself, to Inspector General of Police, and explained the predicament in Marsabit. The issue is, uh, Victoria, and I want to say again, there is the scheme to show certain community in bad light, deliberately, and some of us as leaders are to be shown as unable to discharge our duties. It's a deliberate effort. You cannot fight with the system. We need goodwill from the system. We support them. I told the security team, immediately they came, if there's anything that we can partner with them, okay, if they have some challenges, I am willing to stop. Every day I tell them, deal with uh, criminals ruthlessly because this, this county is volatile, all right? But now, instead of addressing real issues, the issue was land. And I said yesterday, and I'll repeat, for us to solve this problem, we must get impartial security team at the leadership level at the county. Number two, all the serious issues which are emotive, boundary issues, mm -hmm. must be sorted once and for all. And the rest of the criminals, whoever they have evidence against, we support, must be brought to book. But not, uh, uh, in fact, what is political is the kind of people they want to chase, right? If they must have tangible evidence, but they must not divert issues. We must be allowed to operate in, a, in a, an environment which will enable us to discharge our responsibilities, yeah. not to make it difficult for us. I am the one who wants peace and stability in that county more than anybody else. We are talking to a lot of partners to come and bring development in our county. People are undermining this. There are people who are not comfortable with this. People who are not comfortable with the progress we are making. They want to take us back. And we said we will not allow. Today, we are going to meet with all the political leaders, including the MCS in the county, everybody. We have agreed. Uh, after here, I'm just going into that meeting. We have said, we, it looks like the people of Marsabet are alone, as far as security apparatus are concerned. We have to speak to ourselves. If in the last three days, when I was held here, other than going home, I was told to come to Embu to get, give, give them stories, stories which can, they can get from me, from my county. I came to Nairobi to seek support from the good minister so that he can give me people I can work with to restore normalcy. But up to today, nothing has been done. And speaking of those efforts to restore peace and stability to the county, uh, there have been reports that your predecessor, uh, now Cabinet Secretary Ukuri Atani, um, has been frustrating those peace efforts in your county. Um, what do you have to say about that? Yeah, I will leave that uh, for, for everyone else to see for themselves, to judge for themselves. But I think when you see a county commissioner, when you see a county commander, not reasoning with the governor and duly elected, then your guess is as good as mine. Where else are they getting orders and instructions? Some things we are told is from above, from above. And we thought this above can cease at the level of the, the CS. How high is this above? I am appealing actually to His Excellency the President to actually come in and help us and restore normalcy in that area. Okay, um, you mentioned the provincial administration being lax in uh, doing their part to respond to many of the clashes <laughs> happening in your county. Let's uh, take a listen to what the county commissioner from Marsabit had to say on that. Kwa sababu hii mambo ya mauaji hapa imefika mbali, imefika hata kwa kwa CS, imefika kumbuka kwa serikali kuu na serikali kuu imetoa amri kubwa kwamba wanasiasa wote wachunguzwe. Na iangaliwe pia kama kuna wenye wanatumia mali ya serikali kufanya mohofu. Kwa hivyo hata serikali imekasirika zaidi na ile matukio ambayo iko hapa. All right. What is your response to what you have to say? Very good. Kama wamekasirika na sisi tumeudhika lazima wafanye kazi. Sio ati kusema tu wamekasirika and they don't pursue uh, criminals, they in fact let it go on. When things are getting out of hand, they start chasing now 
uh, individual. Why did it today they have security apparatus, they have intelligence, before anything happens, why don't they take action? If huh? this is not dealt with, because you said it, you have to go beyond being angry about a situation and act on it. Mm. If it's not acted upon in good time, uh, already there have been four attacks in the county, 14 people have been killed, uh, 16 schools closed. There's a human cost to all of this. If it's not dealt with now, uh, what are the implications uh, during the break you expressed fears that we don't want to go to the point where you were in 2014 Correct. that necessitated the bomber agreement. Mm. If we don't deal with this now, what are the implications? It's, it's a disaster because uh, the fighting will continue. Our people will not be going to school. We will not be discharging our responsibilities. No services will be uh, going on in the county. It is terrible. God forbid. So we must move with the speed and restore normalcy. And I want to appeal to all concerned. I want to appeal to all concerned. I want to again appeal to the, the, the CS in charge. He has an opportunity. I have asked him to call for a round table co meeting immediately so that we can discuss this issue. Uh, it has taken some time now. Yeah. And uh, I have asked him to give me uh, competent officers, impartial officers, people who will not be listening to other quarters to implement a security uh, concern. And now I appeal to His Excellency the President to step in. It has actually reached that level. Let's quickly talk about the issue of uh, boundaries, because there have been reports that uh, two of the members of parliament who were summoned with you yesterday, uh, Honorable Nganya and Honorable Russell, have uh, issues with boundaries in the constituencies mm. that they oversee. How has this contributed to a lot of the unrest we've seen? Well, um, I think uh, the boundary that has come into play, uh, I, I, I think is, is only the horrendous issue yeah. which might have that implication. Uh, but there are boundary concerns in the county generally, mm -hmm. not only Hollander, okay. several places, all right? Uh, things have been managed uh, and people have just been living together, but all of them have been, whether it is uh, uh, Borana, the, whatever, all, all communities, literally, almost all, they have issues with the boundaries in the county. This one needs to be looked at soberly as a whole by the national government. And I urge the national government to move with the speed so that this matter can be sorted out. This is the underlying problem, yeah. actually. Otherwise, the small issue of Horondel will not have been magnified to this extent. Okay. Mm. Governor, thank you so much for your time. Hopefully yeah. you're able to bring back peace and stability to your county uh, in a very short time. Yeah. We don't I, want to see these things prolonged beyond yeah. a certain time point. I, I, I want to appeal to our people to uh, please, uh, that is our county, what is going to happen, we are going to determine our destiny. If we don't talk to each other, if we don't have a conversation, if we don't forgive each other, then the situation will be worse day by day. I want to appeal to my people, drop down the guns, drop down the animosity. Let us have a conversation. Let us bring people together and let us develop our county together. That is the appeal I'm making to everybody and all the leaders, let us embrace peace. And the county, county security team, do your responsibility impartially.